Hey everybody, in this video, I am going to show you how to point a custom domain to a ConvertKit landing page. Now, in a previous video, which will be in the card above and the description down below, I showed you how to set up a free ConvertKit and then build a landing page. But we, what we got was a kind of long, hard to remember URL to point people to that landing page. So we're gonna solve that problem in this video. As you can see on the screen here, I'm using my actual ConvertKit account. I just created a new landing page today called the Podcast Workbook Landing Page, where I lay out all the reasons that you should download my podcast workbook. So the next thing I want to do is point that to a custom domain. In the landing page settings, if I click on the cog, you can see we can choose a domain here. And there are two, my generic convert kit URL and another URL I pointed for a different landing page. But I bought a custom domain called podcastworkbook.com that I'd like to point to this one. So to do that, ConvertKit conveniently links to the account settings where we set up our custom domain. I'm going to click on that now and we'll be brought to the account settings. I'll scroll down so you can see the whole page. Here's the account settings and we can add a domain by clicking this big button. It's going to ask us what the custom domain should be. So I will type that in now. And then it'll ask me what landing page the domain should point to. So I'm going to choose the podcast workbook landing page. Once that's selected, I'll click save. And then it's going to show me how to configure my domain. This is going to require us to modify the DNS records for our domain. Uh, domain name server records is what it stands for. Uh, so it gives us three type A records and three IP addresses. We're going to copy the first one, and then we're going to move over to where I've registered my domain, which is Hover. So here you could see the domain name I've registered. I registered it uh, today as I record this, and uh, there are some settings here. The second tab is the DNS tab. I'm going to click that, and I am going to delete the two A records that we see here. Those A records point to a hover landing page. And now it's time to add the convert kit records. So I'm going to click add a record. The type is going to be the A record. And then we have some fields here. Convert kit has provided us with the IP address. But if we look back, we'll see that the host name or field is blank. If we try to save the record without a host name, though, hover doesn't allow us to do that. So what we're going to do is add an at symbol. Basically, this is just a wild card saying that nothing is preceding podcastworkbook.com. So our host name is going to be the at symbol. Our IP address has been provided to us by ConvertKit. And then we have the TTL. TTL stands for time to live, which is basically saying how long should it be before we start telling people that this is the new IP address. I'm going to set it down to five minutes, but this is highly dependent on a lot of things like internet service providers. Uh, but I always like setting it to the lowest one, especially for new domains or new websites. So I'll click add record and the A record has been added. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other IP addresses that ConvertKit has provided for us. We'll go back. We'll copy the second value here. And the reason that they are providing us with more than one IP address is basically redundancy. Uh, if one machine goes down, if one IP address goes down, we don't have to worry because we know that our domain is pointing to a few different IP addresses. It'll just go essentially to the one that will load fastest or the one that is up and running. And then we'll click add record. Now, the last thing I want to do here is I want to add that www host name because a lot of people do end up typing that in. And there's a couple of ways that we can do that. We can add the A record and then just make the host name www. 
or we can set what's called a C name or a canonical name. So in the host name, we'll type www, and in the target name, we'll type podcast workbook.com. And we'll set that TTL to five minutes as well. So we'll click add record. And now our DNS is configured for podcastworkbook.com to point to our landing page. If we go back to the ConvertKit account settings and click refresh, you'll see the domain hasn't been verified yet. And again, that's because it could take some time for the domain or the DNS records to propagate. If you want to keep tabs on how quickly the DNS is propagating, you can go to a website called whatsmydns.net and type in the domain name. So we'll type in podcastworkbook.com. We're going to check against the A record and we'll do a search. And great, it is starting to propagate in some areas, but the old domain or the old IP address is still showing up in a lot of places. So as our domain propagates, more and more places will start to pick up the right IP address. Again, we did set the TTL to be as low as possible, but if certain internet service providers don't regularly check their uh, time to lives or their DNS records, then it's not going to update. Generally, a domain will update within 48 hours, 24 to 48 hours. It's usually a lot less than that. But if you don't want to keep checking what's my DNS, you could always go back to ConvertKit. So would you look at that? It is verified now. Uh, it still will take some time for the DNS to propagate everywhere, but at least we know we have set it up correctly. So from the time you do this, I would check in a few hours and, and then 24 hours just to make sure that the domain name is properly propagated everywhere. And to that end, I wouldn't start promoting the new domain name until uh, it's fully propagated. And again, you can use whatsmydns.net to make sure it is fully propagated. So that's it for this video. In it, you learned how to point a custom domain to a landing page you have created in ConvertKit. If you want to try ConvertKit for free, you can go to convertkit.com slash JC116. That will give you a free account. And as a bonus for using that domain uh, or that link, you will get free broadcasts for up to 100 subscribers, which is just fantastic. You could start seeing the value of ConvertKit before having to pay for it at all. Now, DNS. Uh, is also pretty confusing. I do have a series on how to use the DNS with Hover uh, in the card above and in the description down below. So if you want to learn more about just uh, Hover's DNS in general, go ahead and check that out. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.